In this video, we're gonna take a look at 10 more powerful free plugins for Final Cut Pro. This video will be moving very fast, but if you want more information on any of these plugins, all the links will be down below. With that being said, let's get into it. The first plugin on this list is my very own Motion Tools free plugin. While I do have a paid version of Motion Tools, there's also a free version that comes with some amazing features. You can locate Motion Tools free inside of your effects browser. Over here on the right hand side, you'll see all of these different effects that it comes with. Some of the standout features are stuff like this motion path, which gives me on screen controls to apply easy to do animations. If I play through, you can see how this nicely animates my object on the screen. If I want to shorten the length of that animation I just need to shorten the length of the clip and you'll see that the animation plays out much faster. Another really cool tool is this oscillate feature. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and I use this a lot as a hover animation for a lot of my different clips. If I go ahead and drag up the amplitude and speed we can see how this is applied really nicely onto this logo. You can even make it look like it's bouncing by selecting half range and now it's got a nice little bouncing animation. We can also bring up the amplitude on the X and Z axis so if I I push play, we now have this nice little animation for this logo just with a few sliders. The last feature I want to show off is this overshoot tool. If we go to the beginning, you can see we have this nice little pop in animation for our logo. I can increase the speed by dragging that down. We could bring up the acceleration and that just adjusts the dynamics of the logo. We could bring up the cycles a bit, which is going to give us more of a rubber effect when it bounces. So there's really a ton of flexibility with this free plugin and it's going to bring your animation skills inside of Final Cut Pro to the next level. This next free plugin comes from my good friend Brad West. He created a powerful halation effect which simulates how light works with film cameras. This video doesn't have time to get into all that, but if you want to learn more, he's got a great video on the subject linked down below. We'll go ahead and just apply the red halation effect onto my clip. You can see it's working really subtly here, giving it a more filmic look. We can bring up the blur amount, so now you can really see that red halation coming in. You can enable or disable that. There's also some powerful sharpening tools so we can enable that if you find that your clip is just not quite sharp enough he's also added some nice grain so you can bring up the grain amount grain threshold you can set it to monochrome you can even change the type of grain so he's really added a lot of powerful features to this halation effect highly recommend it link down below this next free plugin comes from yet another Dylan in the Final Cut Pro community and it's called Data Pop Free. It comes with four super powerful data visualization tools that are completely customizable. There's stuff like this pie chart which I can drop down. You'll see it's got a nice background and if we go into our title inspector we can go ahead and disable this free message at the bottom just like that. You can click and drag your stuff around on the screen. We can adjust the pie size, the pie rotation, and if we scroll a little bit further down you can see we can adjust the amount slider and that dynamically shifts whatever is shown here on the screen. So if I push play, we have this beautiful little animation popping on. And of course you can go in and change the colors of everything you see here on the screen to your liking to get it matching your branding. And that's just one of four. There's also other stuff like this dynamic progress bar or this ring that you can play around with. So he's given you some really powerful data visualization tools. Again, all completely free. This next freebie comes from Leno FX and it's called the Super Starter Kit. It's got cool stuff like this auto resizing title and you'll see that has a beautiful animation to it. If I go in and type something new, you'll see how it dynamically adjusts to the length of the text. They've also got this powerful YouTube growth tool. So if I push play, you can see how that pops up on the bottom of the screen. We can adjust the colors of everything to our liking so we can make that follow me really pop. We could go into our outline settings and change that to another color. We could even change the color of the full box here so we can make that much brighter if we wanted to. And finally, my most favorite feature from this pack is the bullet points. I'll go ahead and apply that onto my timeline. If we push play, you can see it has a very dynamic animation. We can go ahead and adjust this text here. We can go into the title settings. You can adjust the entire size of everything. You can add in a drop zone here. We can, of course, adjust the colors on it. So there's really a ton of features all packed into this bullet point. And if you want more bullet points on the screen, I can go ahead and just click option, click and drag. And now we've got a secondary bullet point. We can go ahead and offset that if we want to. So it's really up to you how many bullet points you have on the screen at a time. 
This next plugin is not actually a free plugin, but a free LUT, and not in the way that you might expect to use a LUT. Usually LUTs are used for adding a nice style onto your videos, but this particular LUT is used for adding false colors into Final Cut Pro. If you don't know what false colors are, I will have a link to a video down below from Cinema Grade, which is where this particular LUT comes from. To apply the false colors, you can go ahead and go down into your effects browser and look up custom LUT. We'll go ahead and apply that onto this clip, then go into the top right you'll see that our LUT is set to none. Go ahead and click that and then select choose custom LUT. Once you've done that you can load in the LUT that you've downloaded and push open. Then we can go ahead and replace that because I've already brought it in and just like that we've applied false colors. Now what's super cool is we could go in and save this as an effects preset so that we don't have to go through all those steps every time we want to bring this in. So we push save effects preset I'll call it false colors and we can save it into whatever category we like and now that I've done that I'll always be able to find my false colors in inside of my favorites, which we can apply just with the click of a button. But what's super important with false colors is you need to properly set it up in your video inspector. So if I push command six to get my color wheels up, you'll notice that as I make adjustments, my false colors are not adjusting as they should. To get them working properly, we'll go ahead and go into our video inspector and click and drag the color wheels directly above the custom LUT. Now that we've done that, we can see that the false colors are properly working in our scene. Stuff is going to red that is overexposed, stuff is going to blue if it's underexposed, and anything that's gray or green is properly exposed. So this is a powerful tool if you wanna bring your color grading to the next level, and again, it's completely free to use. Now with this list, I worked really hard to not just only show motion VFX plugins because every single Final Cut Pro free list has a million different motion VFX plugins, but this one in particular really stands out and I haven't seen it on too many lists. That is M Matrix. M Matrix comes with cool stuff like this background and it has all these cool trailing numbers. It's got some really cool effects we can apply directly onto our scene so you can see that's animating in really nicely. This is great for applying graphics. Maybe you have a tech channel or something. And then another effect they have is this cool reality distortion which is also in their M Multiverse pack. You can see how it's just giving us this nice shock wave. You can click and drag this wherever you need to in your scene. I absolutely love how this looks. And then finally at the bottom you can see we have all of these lower thirds that we can use. We've got a nice title. So there's just a ton of different options inside of this M Matrix plugin absolutely worth downloading completely for free. This next plugin comes from Ryan Nangle, who we all know and love in the Final Cut Pro space. He's given us three free transitions for zooms and pans, and they look so good. I'll go ahead and just apply this zoom in, pan up, and if we push play, just like that, we have this beautiful little transition. Of course, if you need to, you can extend these out, but he's also given us a whole bunch of controls up here in the top right. So we can go ahead and bring in more zoom blur if we want. We can adjust the start and zoom out position so all this can affect how the transition looks, giving you a really unique style to your own videos. This next plugin comes from my friends over at FX Factory and it's called Super Custom. Now previously on the channel, I've created videos showcasing the custom title effect inside of Final Cut Pro. It has a whole bunch of controls, but Super Custom takes that to the next level. Super Custom has a lower third option, a title option, and it also has an effect option and transition option. Let's go ahead and just apply the title option onto our timeline. Right now it looks very simple, but if we take a look over here on the right side, you'll see that it gives us a whole bunch of animation controls. So for example, we have the opacity in, I can slide that down to zero, and if we push play, just like that, we've animated our text slowly animating in in a really nice and cinematic way. If you want to, you can adjust the duration of that animation and we can adjust what direction it is. So right now it's set to random. We can go ahead and set that to forwards. So that's one control, but we can also adjust stuff like our scale as it comes in and we can go ahead and make that a much shorter duration. So now we've got this kind of fade in effect. We can adjust stuff like the position in. So I can bring this down on the Y axis. We could speed that up. We can bring in our rotation. So if we push play, we have a very dynamic level of text popping on the screen. And I'm just barely scratching the surface. You can see there's all of these different options you can play around with to really get full control over your text. But what is super cool is because they've also created an effects version of the plugin, we can apply this directly onto our effects layer. We can go into our video inspector and now we can go in and adjust all of these different settings like our opacity and duration and everything you could possibly need. But then at the end, you can save it as an effects preset. Oh, 
Once you've done that, all of those presets that you've adjusted with this title will be saved permanently and you can just easily apply this into whatever video you have in the future. I absolutely love this feature and I'm so glad they added it. I really hope more plugin developers add this exact same feature. This next free plugin comes from Tap5A who has some of the best free plugins out there. Going over here to the right side, we can see we have the Tap 5A zoom highlight. So I'll just click and drag that onto my clip and you can see that we have a highlighted area that we can affect. So maybe we wanna zoom in on that building and the final result over here on the right hand side. So I can just click and drag this to wherever we need to. But once we've got that all dialed in, we can go ahead and disable the setup modes. And if we push play, we have this beautiful animation that plays out very, very nicely. Additionally, we can adjust stuff like if we want it to be a circle, we can adjust the height of that that circle and the width, the curvature. We can increase the zoom. We can increase the speed of the animation. We can increase the border, the drop shadow. So he's really thought of everything you could possibly need for this plugin and I absolutely cannot believe it's free. Again, links down below. And last but certainly not least on this list is Brett FX's Power Tools Lite. Once you've got it installed, you'll see that you have a whole bunch of different title options as well as a whole bunch of effects options. There's simple stuff like this PT bounce title and this is just a nice little lower third that you can apply. We've got this PT box title. He's got simple callouts you can use. He's got this brush text which looks really great. Shape burst which is super fun. Splatter text. An arrow option in here. So tons and tons of free animation effects plus he's also got these line guides so you can apply these on the screen and you can line up stuff in a straight line if you need to inside of your browser. But he's also got all of these other effects down here in the effects browser. Stuff like 3D transform. So if I apply this onto my logo, I can go into the position settings. We can push it back in Z space. We can go in our rotation settings and adjust it on the Y axis, the Z and the X axis. He's got stuff like this shear in here. So you can really see that working in 3D space. He's also given you outline effects. So you can see my logo now has this nice outline. We could change the color on that to whatever we like. There's even this extrude tool. So you can see I've kind of 3D dimensionalized my logo. So there are a ton of different animations and effects that you can take advantage of with this particular plugin. Highly recommend, again, completely free down below. So that was 10 free plugins for you to check out this 2024. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may want to check out this video where I show you 10 more powerful free plugins for Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.